Well, I was wrong. The newest update to Master Duel has released its newest selection pack, Inherited Unity. With it comes some new and exciting cards from my favorite alt format, NR. Today, I'll showcase all the new NR format cards, their possible uses, and my genuine first reaction to them. My name is Doc Conrad YGO, and if you like this kind of content, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more NR related content and all other things Yu Gi Oh related. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, uh, it is currently almost noon. I woke up real early knowing that there was a pack today, but I didn't think there was going to be anything. Um, I went to my classes, I did all that good stuff, and then later I find out there are multiple Twitter threads saying that NR format has been changed and there are actually new cards and we should be excited. And I'm like, what? And the reason why I was like, what, is because the last time we got a DM nostalgia pack or whatever that we got from Master Rule, we got nothing. We got, like, they reprinted, like, Cypher the Sky Dragon. So, like, that was, like, it. We, we didn't have much, if anything. Oh, and the release of Blaster, but that's fine. I have not seen, uh, well, <laughs> that's not true. I have seen something involved with the new cards. Oh, boy, I'm gonna download this data real quick. I've seen threads from Scarlon and NRYGO um, and other people saying, like, ooh, new cards, and I'm like, I have to close out of Twitter, like, real quick. So, <clears throat> my first reaction to the new cards. Let's go. You know how it is at this point. If you like this kind of content, uh, like and subscribe and whatever. Okay, versus event rank, the new cards of the shop, new accessories available to the shop. Okay, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Cool, 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 cool. A new solo mode. Ooh. Interesting. All right, let's go and go to the shop. So we have Inherited Unity and a new secret card pack in Beastly Claws of Terror with the Scare Claw stuff. That makes sense. I these should have been this should have been a pack a while ago. I think Scare Claws should have been like you know had its own pack for a hot minute. And I'm glad they're starting to update to add new uh, secret packs for all the new cards and whatnot after they've been gone from the selection pack for however long. Okay. <clears throat> Inherited Unity. Let's take a look. Now, if you don't happen to know how we like to do things, things right here, when I go into cards, include this pack, I like to look through the SR section, go from there. Legendary Swordsman. And I will read out. <laughs> Memories of friendship and unity are passed on to become a new strength. In addition to Black Luster Soldier and Oplus the Tormentor, new cards that enhance Red Eyes, as well as new cards for Dark Magician, Crystal Beast, Number 39 Utopia, and Odd Eyes are here. Also look out for Pharaonic Advent, which opens up new strategies using Trap. Oh, I didn't think we were going to get those yet. Okay. All right, looking at this. Okay. Ultimate Great Insect. Cool, cool, cool. All of these. Yep, Rainbow Bridge. What not? Okay, there's the rares down there. All right. I have not seen them immediately. We're going to go ahead and start off. I know I could hit N. I know I could hit R. I could go ahead and look at these right here, but I like to do it this way. Once you see that a new card has been added into the pack, you can see right here. Implemented, at, and then the date. So... Let's get looking. SR, SR, aw, how cute. It's like the anime moment. I've never seen, was it Brains? I don't know. Gravekeeper's Inscription. Soul Energy Max. Ugh. All right. Apophis. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Gravekeeper's Commandant. We know that. Black Mamba. Reptile Support. If you control a reptile monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon Black Mamba once per turn this way. Oh, free special off that if you have reptiles, okay. If the card is normal or special, you can target one monster opponent control, send one reptile monster from your... Oh. Oh. It's a fo It's a foolish... <laughs> it's a foolish for reptile? We have, uh, we have the Ogdo Attic cards. We have the Ogdo Attic cards. This is a new... Great normal with a reptile. Okay. Burning Dragon. Level 8. 2500. 2100. If your opponent controls two or more monsters and this card is in your hand, you can special summon this card. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can discard one spell, destroy all spell and trap cards on the field. <laughs> okay. Um, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, I like that. I, I, this, this just feels to me like innovative, creative, and all those sorts of things that like, 
sets up. For setup, if you have ways to put cards or stuff like that on your opponent's side of the field, this seems great. This seems fantastic. Oh, oh man. All right, I get what they meant. All right. Blackstone Legend. Black Metal. Gravekeeper's Headman. Lamia. Another reptile. This card's normal special summon at a level 8 reptile. <gasps> Ogdomatics! <laughs> at a level 8 reptile monster for your deck to your hand. Okay, just add just add one. Sure, why not? Um, <laughs> this card is banished. Target one reptile monster you control. It cannot be destroyed by card effects until the end of the next turn. Reptiles. They are getting something. That's pretty good. Sorry for that. Sorry for that. Excuse me. Chronicle Sorceress. Okay. Send one blue eyes white dragon or one card that mentions it from your deck to the graveyard. If you have a light in the graveyard, okay. And then send one dark magician or one card that mentions it from your deck to the graveyard. If you happen to have it. Okay, that's that's cute. Um DM and Blue Eyes support, we have a, a okay amount of it, but all of them require Almost nearly every single one of them require one or the other, or they become it, so that could be something. By the way, if you're seeing this move, everything in my room, it's not an earthquake, it's the train outside. So, you might hear a horn blare soon. Ooh. Earth Fairy? Smile? Cardin? The clear-sighted? Cardin. I'll call him Cardin. Uh, when this card is normal summoned, you can set one continuous trap from your hand or graveyard. It can be activated this turn. Okay. This card is sent to the graveyard. You can activate this effect face-up. Traps you control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects until the end of the next turn. Okay. Continuous trap support on normal. Uh, 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 huh. Huh. This is cooking. This is getting me cooking, cooking. That's crazy. Okay, Xyz Encore. We already have that. Chaos Form. Yep, Squib Draw. Okay. Evolution and Burst. Add one Overload Fusion from your deck to your hand. If you fusion summon a monster this turn with Overload Fusion using six or more monsters as material, that monster can attack a number of times each battle phase this turn up to the number of monsters used as its fusion materials. For the rest of this turn after this card effect resolves, you cannot special summon monsters except with spell effects. Okay. Now, I don't recall what card Overload Fusion is, so we will get back to this. If this is an SR or higher, eh. If it's an NR card, I can cook something. But I have not read any of those cards like whatsoever involving with Overload Fusion or anything like that with six or more material, whatever. Clockwork Knight, Continuous Spell. I think I've seen this one before. At least the art looks familiar to me. All face-up monsters on the field become machine mon- <gasps> Is that Cyber Dragon support? <laughs> that is the funniest Cyber Dragon support I've ever seen in my life. It's an instant activation. Suddenly. Bang. Your whole board, bang, Chimera Tech. <laughs> I love this, I love this, I love this, I love this, I love this. All right, machine monsters you control gain 500 attack. Also machine monsters your opponent controls lose 500 attack and defense of both. Uh, anyway, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then discard one card, add one earth machine monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of Clockwork Knight once per turn. You can only activate one Clockwork Knight per turn. Okay, earth machine, everybody got the checklist? Earth Machine support, check. Cyber Dragon support, check. Funny, check. We've got this, we've got this. We are so back, we are so back, we are so back. Xyz Align, I've heard about this card at least a little bit. Declare a level from one to 12, then target up two monsters of the field, including one monster you control. They become the declared level until the end of this turn. Also for the rest of this turn, after this card resolves, you cannot special some monsters in the extract except for monsters of the same type as a targeted monster. Hmm, suddenly making with monotype cards in uh, dark decks, you can suddenly just make Boom Seven Sins? That, 
the extra deck has just become like a brand new like there's a new there's a brand new world for all the different types of cards right you can make any of the sixes in the deck the sixes in nr are are very powerful we have high high rank 12s we have high rank oh oh man i'm I think that this is this this card like has revolutionized what we could think and do with the extra deck in NR. Like if your deck has room for a quick play, XC's align I think like does something fantastic for the format. Wow. Wow 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 wow. Viper's Grudge. Non-reptile monsters you control cannot attack, also you cannot activate their effects. You can only use which of the each of the effects of Viper's Grudge once per turn. So this is a genuine lock initially for non-reptile decks okay but if a face-up reptile monster you control is destroyed by battle or sent to the graveyard you can special one one level four lower reptile monster from your deck if this card is destroyed in the spell trap card zone you can return all banished reptile monsters to your graveyard ogdo attic eat your fucking heart out you now have a reason to play pure you have a reason to play pure you have Foolishes on normal summon. You have ads on special summon and normal summon. Oh my god. Oh, I don't. And we're on the rares. Those are the rares. We're on the normals now. Going through the extra deck. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Fine, that's fine, that's fine. Gravekeeper's cards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Urbanus, the avatar of malice. More reptile monsters. Level 5, 2k attacker. Monster your opponent controls with 300 attack and defense. Okay. You can only use each of the following effects of Urbanus, the avatar of malice, once per turn. You can tribute one reptile monster. Special summon this card from your hand. Okay, on tribute. Special. Okay, okay. You can tribute one monster. All monsters your opponent currently controls lose attack and defense equal to the original attack of the tributed monster. To the end of this turn this seems like in a deck that wants to tribute monsters this is pretty good this is pretty good it's hard to say if this will see any play in a real reptile deck because this feels like it needs to be one in hand two it's a uh not a starter it's an extender after you've had it and it has to be level five exactly the card we just revealed earlier has to be level eight it's not level eight or lower it has to be level eight so if it was level eight or lower this could see some play but i don't think this will just because of that and lowering their attack seems fine but i'll have to go and take a look further at all of the rest of them uh, i can't speak too soon i have never seen this card before in my life that's weird okay yep <clears throat> Sphere Karibo, Midnight's Ring, Green Pack, Lancer, Knee Charter. <gasps> Chat Turbo is real. For those of you who don't know, there is a uh, extra deck, uh, deck variant involving Earth and Light level 5 warrior monsters. They can be level 5 plus. Um, we call it, it's, it brings out Ida 10. Uh, the Conqueror Star. Um, in NR, we call it Chad Turbo because it's a, it's a. It, I mean, if you look at him, he's a Giga Chad. He lo he just looks like a a big old beefy boy, and this is a card that reflects it. So I have not read any of the, uh, the new support supposedly for um, <laughs> for this specific deck, but let's read it. You could special summon this card from your hand by sending one other monster from your hand to the graveyard, but this card loses 500 attack. You can only special summon one Toro Doki, the Earth Bolt Star, once per turn this way. During the battle phase, you can pay 500 life points, fusion summon a warrior, fusion mon Okay, yep, it just does it. Okay, wow. Uh, on, during the battle phase, using monster free hand or field as material, you can attack already with all of these cards and then fuse into a fusion warrior monster. Okay. Okay, that does... And we get Skyball Stars <laughs> If an earth monster is normal special somebody to your field, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Target one level five or higher warrior monster you control and what attack this monster your opponent controls. Your monster loses exactly 1500 and if it does, destroy that opponent's monster. Oh, paying with attack points for destruction is a really cool effect. It's a level seven. It's not an ex it's an extender. It's not the normal, but that's still really good. That's still really, really good. I like it. I like it. I like it. Oh, man. Rose Shaman. Oh, I've never seen this before. Okay. You could tribute this card. Draw one. Okay. On tribute, draw. <laughs> All right, that's fine. You could banish this card from your graveyard, then target one plant monster in your graveyard. Add it to your hand. Then if you added a plant monster whose original level is seven or higher, you could send one plant monster from your deck to the graveyard. 
Hmm. Predaplant could want this foolishing from deck for lower power form for lower power cards. I see this. I see this as really good. I think that Rose Shaman can see some play in decks. It's hard to just go ahead and play around the lock, sure. Some plant decks happen to lock, but this Oh yeah, I'm seeing, I'm seeing, I see the vision. I see the vision. Caddy corn! Oh, you look uh, kind of freaky, actually. This looks like the fucking thing from JoJo. I don't know if you know. <laughs> the cat mixed with, like, plant, whatever, whatever. Um, if this card is special summoned while well, you control no card in your field zone, you can... Add one field spell from your deck to your grand. This card is destroyed by battle of card effects in the graveyard. You can turn one field spell in your graveyard, add one card with its name from your deck to your I will find any way on this planet to add boss stage to hand. <laughs> we're playing. We're playing Caddy Corn. We're playing Planet Pathfinder. We're playing Medolce. Anything, anything for boss stage. It's so funny. So funny. Love it. Love it. Hey Kepler, I've never seen this card before in my life. I've seen this card before. Okay. Yep. Crystal. Dark contract. Dual Tower. New field spell. New field spell. New field spell. Never heard this card before in my life. Is this supposed to be, like, is is this meant to be, like, Kaiba's thing? It's, like, in... This looks like... All right, looking at the art, it looks like Kaiba's Tower in, like, 5Ds or whatever. Um, or at least something like that. I don't know if that was the case. I don't... I don't watch the anime. I haven't seen it in forever. All right. At the start of each battle phase, each player can reveal one monster from the deck that does not have question mark attack... You banish them face down, and the player revealed the monster with the highest attack. Each player, if tied, can spell someone one monster from their hand. Uh, each player, if tied, spells someone one monster from their hand, and it can attack directly while on the field. Once per turn during the end phase, you can activate its effect. If you control this card during the end phase of your next turn, destroy all cards on the field. Board wipe, and just like an instant battle for your two monsters. Well, not even the two monsters. It's like... Especially somebody from one card that you already have in your hand. This? Huh. I don't see this as particularly good, but I think it's I think it's funny. And I think that's important. Battle Royal Mode joining. What the fuck? Is this ancient gears? Something like that? I don't know what the fuck this art is meant to represent. Yeah, those are the Ancient Gear Golems, but I don't know what those three guys are. Okay, uh, anyway. Activate this card by targeting one effect monster in the field. The first two times that monster will be destroyed by battle each turn and is not destroyed. When it is destroyed by battle, the player that destroyed it gains 2,000 life points. If the player's opponent takes battle or effect damage, activate this effect that opponent can apply during apply the following effect. Special summon one level 4 or lower monster from your hand or deck, but lose 2,000 life points. Okay. Let me try to read the concept of this card exactly. You activate this, and you target your opponent's monster. It's not destroyed. But, if the player's opponent takes battle or effect damage, you can special summon a level 4 monster from your hand or deck, but lose 2,000. So it's not once per turn on that. So if you end up crashing continuously low-level attack monsters by paying 2,000, you can bring out whatever monsters you want, as long as your opponent has an attack position, or even defense position, effect monster. With, like, high stats. I, I, I see this as, like, one of the jankiest cards I could ever imagine, but something that will be cooked with by, like... There's, like, three people in mind that I think would cook with this, and I might be one of them. All right. Additional Mirror Level 7. If a Level 7 monster is special summoned to your field, send two additional Mirror Level 7s from your hand and or deck to the graveyard. Then target one of those monsters. Special summon two monsters with the same name as that target from your deck, then take damage equal to their combined original attack. Also, for the rest of the turn after this card resolves, you can only special summon monster summon from the extra deck once. Okay, there's a lot to go on here. It's only level 7s. It 
it, it special summons two immediately. You can pay up to like what, like almost like six thousand life points, and then you get out whatever monster you want from the extra deck via those two level sevens. Um, but their effects aren't negated, which is interesting. Okay, yeah, I think that one's that one's that one, this one's fun. This one, this is just a fun card. What the hell? I love that. I love that. Red eyes burn. Switch point. Choose one monster your opponent controls, then your opponent sends either either the fall into the graveyard, the chosen monster, the other monsters they control. Your opponents must control three or more monsters for you to activate or resolve this effect. <laughs> Trolley problem in NR format. Which way will you go? <laughs> this is... <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're cooking now. Oh, we're cooking now. <laughs> Which way, Batman? Synchro Zone. Neither player can declare attacks except with Synchro... Mo <sighs> New Floodgate Pog Champ. New Floodgate Pog Champ. You can only use each of the following effects of Synchro Zone once per turn. If a non-tuner Synchro monster is sent to your graveyard, you can target one of those monsters special summon it. And if you do, it is treated as a tuner. During your opponent's main phase, you can send this face-up card to the graveyard immediately after its effect resolves Synchro Summon using monsters you control as material. If it didn't have that first effect, I would think that this is a really neat concept to force Synchro Summoning on your opponent's turn. Instead, this is a degenerate fucking floodgate that prevents battle except with a specific type of deck. Are you kidding me? <sighs> and that was the last one. That was the last card. The last card soured my tastes on this deck, on this entire, this entire pack immediately. Let's uh, wrap it on up. We're going to go ahead and talk about all these cards in just a moment. Hi there. Real quick. This is a catch-up from my last video. I didn't realize they updated the Legacy Pack to include one new rare card. Daidara Bochi. Let's read this card for the very first time. Level 10, 2900, 2500, cannot be special summoned. You contribute this card by... Fa you contribute this face up... You contribute summon this card face up by tributing one zombie. Gain 200 attack for each zombie monster you control except this card. At the start of your main phase one, if you have this card and two or more zombie monsters other than Daidara Bochi in your graveyard, you could discard one card, add this card to your hand. It's not good. Alright, so now that we've got all of the brand new cards listed on out, I'll go ahead and go over each one of them now that I've had a little bit of time to organize them and give my full thoughts on them. Um, so, first of all, uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the monsters, then spells, then traps. Black Mamba. <laughs> Ogdoatic, eat your heart out. I think the reptile monsters, including with Black Mamba and uh, Lamia, are going to see some play. I think that they will be doing just fine. I do not think that for the monsters. Urubanus, the Avatar of Malice. I don't know if this is going to be too hot, but I think that these two cards will be instant includes in any sort of deck that involves with reptiles, especially Ogdoatics. We have a decent amount of those uh, already, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what you can do with those, but uh, we'll have to go ahead and see. Chronicle Sorceress. Uh, it's a foolish... It's based on what you've already had. It's not a. It's not a setup. It's an extender. If you already have cards, I think it's fine. I don't think there's anything that's going to be meta-defining with this. Any card that mentions either of these cards isn't particularly that great right now. There's one ritual that mentions um, Dark Magician, which could be fine, but that's typically played in ritual pile decks. Chronicle Sorceress to get that card is not exactly what you want to do. You want to search it because it's a ritual. So. Hard to say on that. Don't think it's going to see much play. I like this card. I think that this is going to be really good. Continuous Trap cards have always been... I've had a soft spot in my heart for cards that are um, continuous traps that aren't floodgates, that provide continuous uh, effects um, for yourself and benefits for yourself, but don't lock your opponent out of anything. That, I think, is cool. 
Um, and it being an earth level four fairy means that there is earth for earth fairy support that can be used with this. And I think there is there might be some sort of deck that can rely around that, or maybe the fact that it's a fairy. So don't don't quote me on this, but I think this card might be pretty good. Might be pretty 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 good. Rose Shaman, um, this one was best, I think is best going to be played in the, we almost have like a plant soup deck, uh, I'd say, involving Preta plants um, and other monsters that have to do with that, and maybe Naturias. Um, adding back plants you've sent to Graveyard already, seems pretty good. Uh, being able to tribute for draw for some cycle if you don't need your normal, that seems okay. Um, yeah, no, I, uh, I like this. I like this card. I think it, it might consider some form of play. Um, adding back plants seems cool. Caddy Corn. Anything for boss stage. Swin specialed, add a field spell if you have none. Seems pretty good. Um, it's hard to say how you're going to bring this card out. Um, it being a plant... Maybe there's something you can do there. You can give it a decent search off of Mannequin Cat for Earth Monsters um, to add to field spells, get boss stage to hand. Um, I just, I, I just, I just like it. If it's a story of a battle, you can target a field and graveyard, add a card of the same name from deck to hand. You get a new one. You cycle out your deck too. It seems crazy. I think, I think, I think this card seems fine. If you could find a way to get it out, and that's going to be the biggest issue there. Uh, Urbanus already discussed about this card. I don't think it will see much play, if any, involving the reptile um, monsters. And maybe it's some sort of mid uh, mid board, like you can go ahead and put in and be like, okay, I don't have the full extender yet, but I can tribute up reptiles to bring this card out off special. Yeah, 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 yeah. That seems that seems fine. It seems fine. Earthbolt Star and Skybolt Star of Senko, Torodoki and Senko bring out for more cards for Chad Turbo. Always love to see it. Always love to see them. They will see play. They're going to see play. They may not line up with exactly the the Xyz lines you could do that have been most known. Um, for instance, um, Feast of the Wild. Feast the Wild level 5 requires specifically two level 5 warrior type monsters, and these are two of note 6 and 7. So, the main synergy that you had to have this deck is, is not great, but there is definitely options for them being there. Um, I, I, think it's, I think it's pretty cool. I think both of these are really cool. I think Toradoki will see more play than Senko, just because Senko, um, while being an extender, you could bring it on out, uh, does not fusion summon, and that's what you really want to do with this deck. You really want to do that. <sighs> Burning Dragon. <laughs> I love this card. I, I love this. If if your opponent extends, you get it out, and then you can MST. If you can you can you could wipe your opponent's whole back row if you have a spell in hand on normal or special. So like, I don't know. I think that's pretty cool. I think like having that effect of being like, all right, instantly, uh, you have more monsters. Bang. Okay. Then I'm also getting rid of your entire back row. So. What this means is now boss stage and all other cards involved with it. This is a counter to it. This is a counter to boss stage. Because when you draw off your opponent's turn, uh, on your turn, and your opponent brings out either Udgarda or Vala or anything like that, any, any sort of monster out, you can instantly be like, okay, you have more monsters than me. That's fine. Burning Dragon, pitch a spell, boss stage, and everything else is gone. And if I can go from here, you're only going to have the one activation of the generator card you have on the field right now. There's some plays. There's some plays here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love this. I love this. I love this. I think this could see some play in uh, spell-focused decks, definitely. Because you want to have a spell in hand in order to activate it, but... Pfft, man, I don't, I don't think we're going to have a problem with that. Especially with some of these spells that we did get. Evolution End Burst? I'm going to look this up right now. Overload Fusion. Oh, that's right. Oh my god. Oh. I for... How could I forget? It's the Cyber Dragon Fusion card. Oh my god. And Clockwork Knight? Danny, if you're watching this, I know you're probably not. And our Cyber Dragon just got a whole lot more funnier. A whole, whole lot more funnier. 
I'm going to be on Sub Replay Friday forever. Okay, well, that seems crazy. Um, <laughs> Dual Tower. Dual Tower, I think... It's, 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 it's interesting. I think it's fine. It's interesting. It's not that great. I don't think it's I don't think it's that particularly great. And the same thing with battle royal mode joining. Like, okay, yeah. Alright, you can cycle your entire deck and lose all your life points to bring out like level four lower monsters from your hand to deck and special summon them and you lose all your life points, sure. To what end though? <laughs> to what end? If the player's opponent takes battle damage. Okay. So you can hit on over. Okay, if the player's opponent That opponent can apply the following effect. So, if you if you target your opponent's card and you take the damage, you can take even more damage to special summon level fours. Or can your, or if you, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's interesting. I think I think that this this can definitely see some sort of like you know weird experimentation and weird like things that can work here. I I, I like it. I don't know if it's going to be the greatest, but I like it. Um, I, uh, you already know my thoughts on this, and our Cyber Dragons forever. Um, additional Mirror Level 7. Um, if a mon level 7 monster is special summoned to your field, send two of the same card, then target one... Uh, <laughs> target one of, those, one of those monsters. Oh, man. Okay. All right. So you have to have them... You can only activate additional mirror level 7 once, really. And then you get to bring out two more of that level 7 monster. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I see it. I see the vision. I see everything. I, 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 the Matrix is before me. I love it. Um, <laughs> I love that card. I love the idea that it has. I love that it locks into one, um, one more extra deck summon. Um... Yeah, no, I, I I like it. Speaking of extra decks and, and increasing the amount of play that extra decks can have, Xyz Align, you can quote me on this. I think that there will be decks that will try their hardest to bring out uh, th that stupid level fucking twelve seven sins monster even more so. They're just gonna bring that card out even more with Xyz Align every single time. If you run a dark deck and you're not running this card. And not running uh, the level 12, you're kidding yourself. If you have any way to bring out more than one card. What I think is incredibly funny is I think you can even go like, is Seven Sins a Fiend or an Insect? Hold on. Hold on. Seven Sins. Seven Sins is a Fiend? You can Xyz Align with Seven Sins... Via the unchained spam, even though you're locked into fiends. Holy shit. I've... I need to go back to the kitchen. This is... This is... It's maybe burnt, but it might be something. Switch point. Funny. But your opponent gets to choose, so I don't think it's going to be that great. Uh, Viper's Grudge. Okay, non reptile monsters you control cannot attack. Okay, locks you out of that. Like I said, it locks you out of your own monsters. But, like I said, you can special summon a level 4 lower reptile from your deck if a reptile is destroyed by battle or sent to the graveyard in any way. So... I... I, I I think this is good. I, I think I think I think that in Ogdoatic, in cards like that, you'll play Black Mamba, you'll play Glam you'll play Lamia, you'll play Viper's Grudge. Definitely. I think that is where we come from. And finally, the fucking floodgate. Why the fuck did they make this card? Why they give us this card? Why can neither player declare attacks except with synchro monsters? You're gonna Mmm. I'm incredibly upset with Konami for giving us this card as another floodgate for this fucking format. We've dealt with a number of them. I I don't like that part. Um, sure, there are ways to out it. That's fine. But that shouldn't be the case. It shouldn't have to be that you were basically locked out of battle for this specific card. Um, it's annoying. I'll give it that. It's not, it's not, it's not destruction protection. 
unlike some other annoying <laughs> continuous cards that we've had previously. Um, but I, I just don't like Floodgates in general. If it didn't have that part, everything else in this card seems fine, seems fantastic. Sent to the graveyard, special summon it, treat it as a tuner, bring out more synchro and combo plays for later, and on your opponent's turn, opponent's main phase, you can activate it and send it face up to synchro summon using a monster you currently control. That That's cool, man. That's just cool. I mean, come on, man. Like, why you gotta, why you gotta add that? Neither player can declare tax up with synchros. Ah. <sighs> So those are my overall final thoughts of this deck. I think that this pack, overall, banger after banger after banger. There are only three misses in the entirety of the pack. I think legitimately the only the biggest miss is giving us is giving us synchro zone, um, and these two cards are okay. Everything else I think will. I think everything else will see experimentation. I think we'll see play. I think we'll see like a ton of different like unique sort of decks can be now made because of these cards new removal options if you all happen to enjoy this uh video please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you happen to like content similar to this <sighs> i gotta keep on cooking i have to keep on cooking because i i think i think if i don't i'm about to burn something <sighs> thanks so much for watching See you.